Hello, I'm Ian McIntosh and this is Alex Stewart and welcome to the Betbright Football Manager Project. Very big game today, Celtic against Rangers and it could prove critical for a number of reasons. Let's have a look at the bigger picture. The league here, you'll note uh, with interest I'm sure, that Celtic are currently top with 31 points, 5 points clear of Aberdeen. Then it's Hearts, then it's St Johnston, still brilliant. And then it's Rangers with a curiously inconsistent record, seven wins and eight defeats, but they're not far off. And a win here bounds them up to third, and suddenly the gap isn't looking quite as clever. So there's a lot riding on this. And also, I've noticed a few people on Twitter who have suggested this would be a walk in the park for Celtic. You should know that in the last couple of games we had Dundee, bottom club Dundee at Parkhead. The players were so complacent they barely even got changed for the game. They very, very nearly lost it. So take nothing for granted. Now, Alex, you have gone with the usual 4-4-2. Um, can you talk us through your match plan? Uh, well, no, Ian, because I don't want to <laughs> say no, what I'm going to do. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite straightforward. We've got a flat back four there with Wallace and Tavernier pushing up. Um, they've provided the most assists for me so far this season. So I'm looking to get them on the overlap. McKay's very quick, his instructions are just to, to rush up as, as fast as he can. Forrester has license to drift in, um, and Crooks and Rossiter are keeping the centre of the midfield locked down. Diego Poyet's uh, an interesting choice up front. Yes. Are you hoping to use his height? Um, I'm not going to explain that for now. Okay. Um, let's have a look at Celtic. Um, now, you might notice Craig Gordon's gone, he got injured in the last game. So I have Logan Bailey. Now, there are some ways that Logan is a very good goalkeeper. He has an aerial reach of 15, reflexes of 16, I like that. Handling of 10, not so comfortable with. Eccentricity of 17 is definitely a problem. I'm not, I'm not massively pleased about this. So Vietchenko and Simonovic have been magnificent um, since they came in. You may recall at the start of the season we had all kinds of problems including getting battered by St Johnston. Um, that's because we didn't have any senior defenders at all. Gambo is an absolute machine. Isa Guerra has had to come in for Kieran Tierney, who is unfortunately injured as well. So that's two key players we're missing. Mir Bitten stays as the anchor man. Really, really nice performing. He's very, very tall, six foot five. So anything over the top he gets. He's also calm, he's got a good range of passing so he can restart moves. Chopper Brown, a man transformed further up here. Whoever it was on Twitter who said stop playing Chopper Brown back here because they'll always make last ditch tackles and they'll always get sent off. Thank you very much. He's not been sent off once since he's here. Christoph AJ is in the middle here. He's going to be getting up and supporting moves and we have two out and out wingers. James Forrest who's been one of the players of the season and because Scott Sinclair is injured uh, we move Ryan Christie over to the left where he got two assists in his last game. Moussa Dembele gets a nod, he's in great form, got a fairly strong bench as well, but complacency is our enemy. Uh, Alex, you're under a bit of pressure at the moment, um, the, the press is starting to get on your case, any defiant words for that? Um, we're putting together blocks of form and then it's, uh, it's coming undone slightly, so we have four wins on the bounce, which was fantastic, uh, scored six, conceded only one. Um, but then we lost twice in a row, so we're coming into this game on the back of, of two losses, including a, a 3-1 thumping at home to Hearts, um, which was quite an unlucky result, actually. Um, we, we have more shots on target, we have more clear-cut chances. Sometimes it just doesn't go for you, and it does feel at the moment a little bit like, you know, it doesn't matter what I do, but um, ranges are, are slipping up. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm not approaching this with a massive degree of confidence. Well, <coughs> good luck. That's a, that's a that's, good start. It's gone really well. Yeah. Remember, if you've got any questions, fire them through, because behind the camera, in a wonderful shirt, is uh, editor Matt Stanger. He'll be shouting them out during the game. So, hello. There he is. Let us know what you think. Um, apply some instructions. I'm going to be assertive in my team talk. If you two got a scoreline prediction, we've got one here from Sam Cooper. Rangers to sneak a 2-1 win. Ooh. Yeah. What about, what about you, Alex? Do you agree with that? Um, 
I'm not going to make any specific predictions ahead of this game. I think, think that's going to be the winner. Uh, yeah, yeah, one would hope so, yes. Okay. I, I, I'd take a scrappy 1 0, actually. No, I would no. absolutely endorse that. I would do yeah. that. <laughs> I, in fact, I, I would just take not losing. Owen Shaw says Rangers to win 3 1. So, just so you know, Ian, you've got a lot of people supporting you. They <laughs> really do believe, don't they? Oh, Craig Meacham, Celtic 3 0. Celtic 3 0. Thanks, Craig. There we go. Ready? So what, what's we're sweaty palms right now. What are you up to? I'm, uh, I'm making some changes. <laughs> I'm just making tactical changes already. Yeah. Um, what, what, what are you doing there, Alex? I've shifted Poya back to there. Right. So he's now a deep line playmaker to match up with you. And uh, Garn is now on his own up front. That change hasn't come through yet. I will look at that with interest. So how come you didn't make that change right before, you know, in the days leading up to the game? Is it one just of, too upset me? No, one of the issues that, that I've encountered is that um, the, the players seem to struggle with too many rapid formation changes. And so I've kept the 4-4-2, which is what I'll be using in the majority of my games, so that they don't go, what's happening here? Right. You're matching up. Yeah, so Poyot's now a deep line playmaker and Matt Crooks is a ball winning central midfielder. Um, and Matt Ryan Christie's been booked. Huh. After five minutes, that bodes very well indeed. And we do have this on extended highlights, but thus far, very little has happened. Christie with a free kick. Yeah, we'll take those. Not very accurate. We'll take those. That's <laughs> fine. Not very at all. Well, I had hoped for a little bit of action and, you know, some early goals. Because I'm sweating quite a lot. This referee is booking everybody for everything. No, there's only one booking so far. Well, that's more than enough. My coach says I'm fouling you a lot. Um, apparently we're winning lots of headers, which is unusual. Oh. I've never had a game on extended mode produce so few highlights. We're half an hour through. And, and nothing is happening. Christie's going to whack another free kick over the bar. Ooh. <laughs> Just comment here, Ian. Uh, Ian McIntosh, still the only person to play football manager with the sound on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, who doesn't play with the sound on? The sound's brilliant. There's a team of people who work for months on the sound. There's a lot of jeering from the crowd, actually. Yeah, I think that's only right. The crowd. Oh, come on. Right, up we go. This is what we do. We start... We're supposed to play the ball out gently from the back. Just yeah. gradually building in numbers to support the counter attack. Knocking it long to Moussa Dembele is not in the guidebook. This Particularly is when you've got Sandros who won, what, eight out of eight headers yeah. against Hearts? They're not supposed to be doing that. I don't ah, know the way this is going, there we go. whatsoever. Us, come on! Ooh. Away, away! Right. Now, close him down, close him down. Well, this has been an absolutely abject first half. Tavernier, the free kick expert, into the water. <laughs> there are two free kick goals in his last game, both direct. How'd that game turn out? Yeah. Comment here from uh, Andy Baxter, maybe Ian is just a sweaty man. It is possible, it is possible. This has been rubbish. No chances at all. I kind of expected, well, you know, to be playing quite well. Absolute gash. We're expected <laughs> to win and the fans will be expecting the same. Aggressive, I'm far from pleased, and I've stressed out the reserve goalkeeper. Well, that's just fantastic. I mean, in fairness, he should be stressed. It's an old firm game. Are you going to make any changes? Not yet, but I'm going to give them 10 minutes mm. to see what they can do. This is always one of the most frustrating things. It's when you look at the stats, nothing is happening, and it's happening really slowly. It's a terrible game of football. But let's hope it gets better in the second half. 
Alex, have you changed anything? No, I'm always tempted to bring off players that are on yellow cards, but Rossiter and Tavernier are so crucial for the way we play that it seems like that would be a bit rash at this moment in time. I say that, they're going to get sent off, so... My, my entire left flank is looking appalling. We've, uh, we've got a comment from Sean Spicer here. Great entertainment in that first half. <laughs> period. We do the best games. The best it's games. difficult to argue with you, Sean. We've got all yeah. the best games. Right, go on, beat him. No, 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 no. Oh, well, that's just vicious. Leaves. That's the kind of boy. Vicious tackling that has no place in the game. Yeah, he's, he's going to give him a bit of a maybe. Oh, come on. Seems fair. Right, I'm going to focus all my attention on the right flank in the hope of getting Wallace sent off. Dirty? Yes. We need everything there. We've played. Chopper Brown hits a no! nice Chopper Brown puts a rebound in. That is offside. He's offside, surely. Let's find out in the replay. Free kick comes in. Where's Chopper? There's Chopper. I would say that's offside. I would say that was offside. Oh, well, I've, got, I've got a different replay to you. I think that referees have a very difficult job. Yeah, you would say a that. Very, what, what screen have you got there? We've got a main stand picture. Oh, yeah, I have a main stand picture. Let, let's just put this one to bed. He does look, that's not the best angle. We've got a sideline. He's off. He is off. Well, that's a contentious goal, but football being the friendly sport it is, I shouldn't think it will cause any problems in the long run. Just have to accept these decisions as part and parcel of the game. Uh, Robert Chins Wright says, Alex's dog is going to get the walking of a lifetime later for <laughs> like this. Uh, Alex, tell me through your changes. Uh, so, I've brought off Tavernier and brought on Hudson. So your free kick expert is gone? Free kick expert is gone, but he's looking knackered and he's on a yellow. Uh, and Halliday's come on for Rossiter, um, because again, I think the century of the park is, is quite a battle. And we could well do without um, going a man down as well as a goal down. I've oh, just I'm... shouted assertively at my team to show some passion, so we'll see how that goes. I'm a little disappointed with AJ, so I'm swapping him out for Callum McGregor. He wasn't as fit as he could have been for this game, so I don't blame him, but could have done more. <laughs> Wallace gets a talking to while on a yellow. 32 minutes to go. Alex, you're making another change. I am. Uh, I am bringing on... Oh, Christy. I'm bringing on Machida for Ghana. Because Ghana's done nothing. Okay. Fresh legs up front. 30 minutes to go. The game seems to be opening up a bit. There's Chopper Brown. Now, if he gets it out wide like he's supposed to, no, get it out wide. Our game is basically all about getting on the flanks. Get it out! Yes, yes, yes. Chopper loses the ball. And here come Rangers. So one simple instruction, get it out wide. Now look for the overlap, thank you. This is the last thing we wanted them to do. Smack it over the bar. Smack it over the bar. Come on, man. I'm not entirely sure what... Oh, oh come on. on. Now break, break, break. Ash Hyde says it's overload time, Alex. Too early still? 29 minutes to go. It's never... It's way too early for that. Christy, Forrest, side netting. Side netting. <sighs> Negative. Negative. Maximum with 10 minutes left. Just impacted on the surface. The issue as well with going overload is that the players are already quite tired because we had a game only three days before this. So near bit and spin books. So that's Come three on. yellow cards. Record oh. will change everything. Not really the right kind of midfielder. 
Phil Walker says, uh, maybe if you wear a suit, Alex, you'll score in a derby. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, but that's the flanks, side. The flanks. Thank you. Huh. Huh. Chopper, Senderos, no, Forrest, no. nothing, fuming. 22 minutes to go. Temperature in here has risen quite considerably. Right. I have players running out of legs. Chopper Brown is one of them, but I've already used my midfield, so I've got Tom Rodgers. I don't like taking Chopper off in the middle of a a big game like this. I'm going to throw Patrick Roberts on and he's going to replace Christie who hasn't been great. Uh, Ian, a comment here that sounds quite ominous from Jim Burke. Ian, you know the consequences of failure here. Yeah, Jim is my life coach. He's been finding new ways to motivate me and, and, and shake me out of my sluggishness. Uh, one of those ways is to turn up in my back garden with night vision goggles at 3am. Um, Seventeen minutes. I've still got one sub left to take. Chopper Brown is down to sixty-seven. Everyone on the pitch has been booked. There is a possibility what? of bringing Lee Griffiths on. What was Fuddering doing? Come back! Come back! I... Did you see how far out we came? My lad, it's eccentric. Yeah. 15 minutes to go. There's a lot of encouragement for you to go with three up top, Alex. You really go here. Bad place to concede a free kick. The goalkeeper who has thus far only played 20 minutes of football. He has an eccentricity of 17 and a handling of 10, and it's a free kick right on the edge of the box. That noise you can hear is my sphincter. Ooh! <sighs> Didn't go in. Didn't go in. Right, we've got attacking now. Well done, reserve goalkeeper. Penalty. Yes! Where's that come from? Where does that come from? Yeah. It's a new rich foul. Take your refereeing decision skill from earlier. It's... These jumped up two bob officious bastards. Be a hero now, Logan. Be a hero. Now, now I have the great imponderable. Do I pull everything back and tighten up, or do I go for it? Oh, this is. I hate this. I really hate this. Oh good, let's watch it again. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Lee Griffiths is coming on for Moussa Dembele. It's upsetting, but this result has to be said. Not much more or less than we deserve right now. Cole Brown on your celebration there, Alex. Pure intensity, almost scary. Thank you. Rangers are pushing forward a little less now. Yeah. Joe Cable says, go for it, Alex. Finish him. <laughs> Chopper Brown has been booked. Chopper Brown has been booked. Wait. Tim Crutchley says, go for it, Alex. Remember the smugness. <laughs> Come on, lads. One last chance for me not to beat you with bars of soap wrapped in towels. Alex, you're making another tactical change. Uh, no, I'm just telling them to tighten up. Okay. To be honest, I probably won't register that before this torturous experience is finished. Oh, oh that's, oh, that's terrible. Oh, that is a red. <laughs> oh, Matt. Bye bye, Matt Crooks. Oh, Matt, you absolute. You knew there was one coming. Yeah. It gives us one more set piece. Oh, you bellend. Well, I'll level with you. I'm not a very happy man. I don't think it's the result so much as the performance. 
We've been better than this in almost every other game we've played. And that's it. It's a fair result. It is a fair result. Full time, 1-1 <laughs> between Celtic and Rangers at Parkhead. How do you feel about that result, Ian? Not good. Not good. Um, it's the right result. It has to be said, we weren't good enough. I know we'd have possession and chances, but there were very few good chances. Um, but, you know, we've not lost any ground on Alex, probably lost a bit of ground on Hearts and Aberdeen. We'll just have to brush ourselves down and get on with it, but I'm not happy. Matt Scrafton says, try not to do a venue and push the fourth official after that penalty decision, Ian. Yeah. And jo yeah, John McNeil with a simple Macintosh out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh, and here's Jim again. Time. Get your affairs in order, Ian. Excellent. Well, this has gone really, really well. Alex, uh, looking at the league table, you are still fifth. Yeah. We're closing the gap on St Johnston, Hearts and Rangers. Yeah, I know Motherwell have got now two games in hand and they're only two points behind. Need a little run of form now. Something to build on. Oh, is, is that how that works? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Thanks. More, thanks. More, wins more wins for that. More yeah. Wins. Well, this is our first ever draw. If you've realised. I mean, not first ever draw. This is the first draw that my Rangers have had. Well, I'm delighted to have been part of such a historic occasion. So, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on what has been a really enjoyable day. This close. Office. This close. Um, please, if you uh, have any questions, um, continue to address them to us. We'll do our best to answer them in the time that follows this game, in between me taking up smoking again and uh, kicking down the door that's behind that. Thank you, as always, for being here to uh, watch us and keep reading the updates. They'll be on the set pieces frequently. Thanks very much. Thank you.